have a couple minutes left. I want to get both of your thoughts on some independent groups and questions about them. Stephanie, if you could clear something up for me. When the pro-Obama Super PAC uh, Priorities USA Action introduced an ad that suggested Mitt Romney was responsible in some way for the death of a steel worker's wife, you said, quote, I don't know the facts about when this individual's wife got sick or the facts about his health insurance, but in actuality, you were on a conference call where that steel worker himself told his story. Can you explain why you said you didn't know the facts about the situation? Because I didn't. <laughs> I, di I didn't know the facts of when Mr. Sotik's wife got sick. Uh, and I only recently learned them through all of the hysteria over that ad. But, Jake, what I do know is what Mr. Sotik's experience was with GSD Steel. After Mitt Romney bought it, loaded it up with debt, uh, over leveraged it, paid himself excess profits and fees, uh, but then forced that company into bankruptcy, leaving Mr. Sotik without a job, without health care, and without his pension. Uh, and, and the federal government had to come and bail out those pensions because of Mr. Romney's actions. So clearly this is a very painful story for Mr. Softick. And that's the story that I know. Uh, and, you know, there are stories like that all over the country because of Mis Mr. Romney's profit at any cost style of business. So that, you know, and I've looked at that ad. I don't think that ad uh, blames Mr. Romney for Mr. Softick's wife's death. If it did, it would be unfair. But I don't think that that's what it did. It's talking about what happened when Bain came in uh, bought GST steel, over leveraged it, forced it into bankruptcy, and left Mr. Soptic with nothing. Mr. Soptic and all of his colleagues with nothing, while Mr. Romney walked away with a pretty hefty profit. So that, that's a legitimate discussion to have, and that's a discussion we're going to have all through this election, uh, because Mr. Romney has put his business experience at the center of his rationale for his candidacy. So it's important for people to understand exactly what that business experience would mean. Is that the type of business experience you want in the Oval <coughs> Office? Profit at any cost, because it comes with real consequences for people's lives. All right, Kevin, 